I don't love baseball cards. Got them, got them, need them, got them, got them, got them, need them, got them, need them, need them, got them, got them, got them, got them, need them. Welcome to another episode of Remember the Great Sports Pickups Videos. This is kind of a pretty neat little video that I want to put together, but I recently picked up some minor league baseball sets from the 1990s, actually 80s and 90s. And the unique thing about these sets were that some of them were partially signed. I paid roughly about $35 for all four of these sets shipped. And I'm just going to kind of just jump right into this and show you the four sets. I'm not going to show you every single card out of every set because that would just take a very long time. But what I will do is if you remember my Monday Minor League Memories videos, and I'll post the playlist right up here in the corner. It's also down below in the description. I might bring these sets back. Um, I kind of introduced that during this 2020 baseball season when everything was kind of turned upside down. Minor League Baseball was completely canceled. Now with the restructuring of the minor leagues going into 2021 as of me shooting this video. But I'm just going to kind of show off each set really quick. So the first set is a... 1990 California League All-Star set. The second set is the 1988 AAA All-Star set. The next set is the 1990 AAA All-Star set. So basically the same set, just different years. And finally, the 1989 Southern League all-star set and just to kind of go through these really fast I paid $35 for all of them and that's with the autographs and the reason I bought these sets is I actually already owned all these sets and you'll be like why'd you buy them again because the cards were signed when it came down to it I couldn't have sent these cards cheaper to the athlete themselves than what I paid for these sets meaning for example the California League set. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen autographs. Now, if you do the math on fourteen autograph requests, okay, that's about fourteen dollars just to write these fourteen people with a request in the mail and a self-addressed stamped envelope to get it back. I got the entire set for less than $14. So, again, really quick, I'm just going to shuffle through these really fast. And again, we'll go through them at a future date. But some of these are kind of difficult to get. You know, like Pat Lestache, Rookie of the Year. You know, randomly one of the umpires. I mean, good luck trying to track that guy down. And what this did is this just really filled out some set holes for me. Now some of these guys are still around. And we'll go to the next one. Now this is the biggest reason I bought this set right here. And that is an autograph of Bob Sebra. And Bob Sebra recently passed away in 2020. So it is now impossible to get this card signed. So I saw it signed. So I pulled the trigger. And again, some guys that made some appearances in the major leagues, nothing major. Like Marty Brown, I need for my all time Orioles set. I know that. You know, and some of these uh, foreign players would be almost impossible to track down if they're not in the United States anymore. There's Terry Collins. There's the trainer. <laughs> Another trainer. I think Phil was off briefly. But again, like I said, you know, just some random hodgepodge of sets. And now for the 90 set, I again already had this set, so I had a few signed. But Orlando Merced, 
Paul Zubella, my cuff, was Luis De Los Santos again, Junior Noboa, he's got a cool ball. But, you know, those guys would be hard to track down that aren't, you know, in the United States anymore. And finally, the 89 set. This set actually was kind of a throw-in. Had the Bob Hamlin, Rookie of the Year. A couple coaches. That one's personalized. I don't know what that's about. All Harvey Pulliam. And I actually bought the three sets over here to the left first. And the seller threw this in for free. We were negotiating a price. Finally, I just said, hey, I'll give you $30 for these three sets, uh, 10 bucks a piece. And I opened up my package, and the set was in there. So as of me shooting this video, I actually went back to the seller, and I just bought three more sets. And we're trying to work out a bigger deal. So after I get those, I will definitely shoot a video and post them as well. Tell me what you think of these sets. This is kind of right up my alley in collecting autographs. I've been collecting autographs, team sets for years. These are team sets that were around before I was in the autographing business, but these are great because again, like I said, I already own all these sets already, and now I'll be able to send a few out in the mail and not fear that I'm gonna lose them in the mail because I have a backup set already in place. So thanks for watching. Tell me what you think. Look forward to your comments below.